Feeling lost in the gym jungle? Don't worry, I'm right there with you. Yeah, this is a Cyrax podcast where we navigate the fitness world together, ask all the embarrassing questions, and laugh at our own foolishness. So join me as we learn, grow, and hopefully stop calling dumbbells barbells. Because, you know, that can be weird. Yeah, let's dive in! Podcast friends, sorry for being away in my A. These past few days have been incredibly busy and I got a, in a little bit of, you know, a health rut, I guess. Yeah, so now I'm back, you know, all good. Yeah, if you were concerned, <laughs> I don't see why you would, but if you were, thank you. Yeah, so let's get right to it. Let's dive into it. So, in the last episode, we addressed the issues of what to watch out for i just want to you know summarize a little bit for those who have been eagerly waiting to listen to my podcast hopefully so wait it's okay to start late and yeah don't be intimidated then you know you will get strong as long as you do it you're gonna get strong and yeah that's inevitable and next is form the form the way you do the exercise the way you position your body literally just that and do it right so that you get gains and then you do not suffer from any you know deadly injuries yeah so the next thing is people i mean there's always there's always good people you know willing to help you they're just waiting to give out the information sometimes you're gonna see such a guardian angel walk into your life and offering its very insanely invaluable piece of wisdom just get to talking and the next is mind muscle connection that do not be ashamed to perform something slow and focusing on how you do it and focusing on which muscle you're training just really give it your everything including your mind and your body your okay let's dive into this week's content so i want to you know follow up on what I said and I mean I got four more things to talk about what to watch out knife for part two here we go okay well, I'm gonna talk about food first and this meal has got a special name I mean it's nothing fancy I mean it, literally the meal that you eat before your workout okay let's talk about that so this pre-workout meal what does it do and why you should take it and when do you gotta take it so this is what I'm going to address. So what is a pre-workout meal? It's something you eat before you work out. And why you got to take it? Number one, it gives you stamina. You, you don't want to be going to gym and, you know, all with all your energy drained out after a hectic nine to five or, you know, whatever it is you do during the day that, you know, that sucks the every, la- you know, dr- last drop of juice out of you. So yeah, uh, gym is a place where you go where you gotta have as much energy as possible, okay? We don't want that to be a limiting factor, right? So stamina, that's important, number one. And number two is we do not want hunger, of all things, to mess us up, to me- worse, even mess our workout up. So we don't want, uh, trust me, I did this mistake a lot of times. I thought I had it in me. I, I thought like I felt like a pump for some reason. And then I just got to the gym before having my pre-workout meal. And then I only ended up feeling, you know, psychologically exhausted. And yeah, even more so physically exhausted. Psychological exhaustion is worse than you think. You no, know, because when your brain gets turned off, I mean, your body gets shut down. So we want to be taking care of our brain as well. So in order for that to happen, you got to keep your stomach fit just enough. Okay, not too much, just enough. And I'll talk about how much, yeah, a little later. Yeah, so hunger, do not starve yourself, especially before your workout. And yeah, as to when you got to take it. So it is usually advice. As far as I've researched, as far as I've, people have come and talked to me about this, they've always gave, they gave me a time duration, the perfect time duration uh, before your workout, during which you can take your meal. 
And for me, I optimize it to around 45 minutes before workout. Okay, it's fine if it's like around 30, if you guys feel like you need like a lot of energy to go. The reason you're giving that 45 minutes or perhaps even more, like let's say, let's put a cap on that. Let's stick to 45 minutes to one hour, you know, for the moment. So yeah, the reason you need that much time is that whatever you feed your body, it's got to digest, it's got to get in your blood, it's got to give you that energy. Okay, uh, for biology 101, so what gives you energy in your body is this thing called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So that ATP is the thing that gives you energy. So in order for that to be made in your body, you got to feed it. And that process, since you're human, takes time. And that's what the food is for. Just so the whatever you're feeding yourself gets into your blood, give you the energy at the right time. That's why you got to time it. I mean, don't obsess over it. 45 minutes to one hour is a good period. Okay. Yeah, so pick a duration. Don't go more than one and a half hours because, yeah, y you might feel hungry again. So watch out. You get to optimize uh, how, how big of a time gap suits you. Play with it for three, four days and then find the right gap. Number two. Hmm. Let's get to it. Oh God, where's my note? <laughs> Yeah, so routine. I mean, you would have seen a lot of people talk about this, like workout routine, I got this routine, five day routine, nine day routine. Okay, yeah. Okay, first of all, what the hell is a routine? A routine is something that you do regularly, right? So when you wake up, you're doing coffee, you know, you brush your teeth, hopefully. Yeah, and then have a, you know, a bunch of donuts. Oh God, please don't eat donuts in the morning. Yeah, because I did that, didn't do it. It's no good. Yeah. Yeah. It's something you do regularly. It's one of your habits to put it blunt. So uh, this workout routine is the same. I mean, it's what you do regularly. Let's say working on five days of the week and you do the same thing next week and you do the same thing next week. Okay. So it becomes a regular thing, a repetitive thing. So uh, why I want to talk about this is that on Instagram, you get all these fancy workout and then you'll see influencers bitch about bro split. No, be, I, be honest, but I honestly felt that bro split, uh, I'll tell you what that means in a moment. Yeah, that split is like the most basic split. That's all you need to know for now. Yeah, so bro split is the easiest of all to do. It's literally just focuses on one muscle group uh, per day. If you're gonna train shoulders, you're only gonna train shoulders that day. That's it, that's, that's as simple as that. So you'll see people talk about all these fancy things, a con concocted mess of splits. See, okay, you don't want that. You don't want any of that. You plan your split. And I'm gonna tell you how to do that. Your split is basically a subset of routine. Let's say you got like a five day routine. You work out five days a week. And what you do during each of those five days is the split. That's it. What you do during each of those five days is called the workout split. You're literally splitting your body over these five days just so you train certain muscle groups on certain days We're, you're gonna pick that out you know with experience you'll know but right now i'll give you a simple split and yeah you guess it right it's the bro thing <laughs> the split do not obsess over it that's what i wanted to talk about do not obsess so much over it okay keep it as simple as possible keep it realistic okay keep it achievable doable so that you will not be skipping it Okay. Last thing we want is something like a workout split scaring us into skipping gym. We are already lazy. We're trying to get off our bed. We don't want this thing to hold us down from doing the things that we want to do. From, you know, looking hot, from looking sexy. Yeah, I mean, we all want those things, don't we? So, yeah. <laughs> split. Do not obsess over it. Keep it as simple as possible, especially when you're starting out. And I, if you're listening to this, I believe that you're starting out and you've been like a couple months in the gym and you're still struggling with the split. Do not obsess over it. So tr try to start with that and then we'll change it. I mean, the split that I am following right now is called push-pull legs. Mm -hmm. So uh, as you might have guessed, this is a three-day split, but I work out four to five days of the week. And let me tell you how I do it. So the push-pull legs is the split that involves training three, two to three muscle groups per day. 
So there are three days mainly, push day, pull day and legs day. So let's start with push. So what is pushing? Literally pushing something away from your body, right? So what you need to know is what are the muscles that come into play when you push something. You can Google this, your chest, your triceps and your shoulders, okay? So I train these three in one day. I, I, I advise uh, at this moment, if you're just starting out, please don't follow this because this could be a little complicated for you. But I want to, you know, uh, get the message about what I'm doing right now as well. Okay, I started with bracelet and I felt like push pull, come more comfortable with push pull express, so I switched to that. After I spent a few months, you know, perfecting, I mean, not perfecting, getting the forms reasonably right just so that I don't kill myself in a gym. So start with pro split and the next step is push pull leg split. Like I was saying, push involves chest, shoulders and triceps and pull involves pulling things towards your body, towards yourself. And guess what involves? Your biceps and your whole back side of your body, your whole back. These two muscle groups come into play and legs is just legs, your entire legs. That's it. I want to keep it as simple as possible for now, but we'll talk more about it later. If you guys want to just leave a comment, just leave suggestions, you know, I'll make it as simple for you as possible. I'll post about it and everything. Okay. So right now, take a bro split, read up on it, does your homework for today. What is a bro split and how best to, you know, do it. Okay. And to follow up more on that, I'll move on to next in a little. Number two is literally your daily routine. I mean, what, what time you wake up, at what time you eat, what time you sleep, all that. So try to keep that as consistent as possible. Do the same thing every day. I mean, especially if you're living by yourself and uh, it's kind of impossible to stick to one routine, right? So because we got like so many factors come into play and you never know what might happen. We got to take all of that into account. So what I do is I do the same thing every day. I eat the same thing that I cook. I mean, like, uh, not the food that I cooked previously. I mean, I don't have a fridge, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm self broke. Uh, yeah, that's kind of sad. Yeah, but <laughs> we're not talking about me here, we're talking about you. Yeah, so if you're gonna wake up at 6 a.m., do the same thing every day. If you're gonna wake up at 7, do the same thing every day. Go to sleep at 9, do it. Go, go to sleep at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whenever you do it, do it. But make sure you do the same thing every day so that you discipline your body. You Discipline is important. That's a huge factor that is, that plays a, you know, that influences your workout, that influences your gains, that influences your health. Do the same thing, it's just as easy. Please do not give up before trying. Try to stay disciplined. And yeah, I talked about this again, yeah, days of workout. So right now as a beginner, I would recommend like four to five days, training four to five days a week. That is a good number to start with. Okay, train four to five days a week. Reach for five, do four. Okay, if you cannot do five, do four, okay? Or even if you can't do four, just do three, do two. Still better than zero, okay? Remember that. Now, but the next thing is plan your workout. I see a lot of this at the gym, especially especially among beginners and it's even especially among, uh, you know, intermediates and advanced level, uh, you know, trainers. They don't plan things. I don't say it. They just talk to someone. They're just doing random exercises one after the other, not paying attention to what they're doing. And then, you know, they'll be doing chest exercises one moment, let's say a dumbbell press and then doing what? Deadlifts after that? I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. Number one, you got to focus. Number two, your focus is so diverse. It's so spread out that it's just going to mess up your body and mess up your mind. We don't want that. Okay. So number the easiest way to avoid that is to plan your workout. Plan what exercises you can do. Take a sheet of paper or whatever it is, a tablet or however fancy you are with tech. Yeah, just take that thing. Take a sheet of paper. Write it down. Okay. Write down what exercises, what muscle group I'm going to be training. Write down what exercises that I'm, you're going to be doing. Let's uh, say you're going to be doing three to four exercises. Let's say you're doing four exercises on a particular day. And then write down the number of sets and the number of reps and the weight you, that you're, you're targeted. I mean, it's just a target, okay? They Sometimes we overestimate our targets, sometimes we underestimate our targets, and that's fine. And for examples, yeah, for example, you, let's say that you're gonna be doing four sets of a particular exercise, you're gonna be doing 12 reps, okay? That's the target. 
12 to 15 reps that's usually the number trainers give you and that's a reasonable number 12 is a good number if you're doing bicep curls you'll be holding one dumbbell in each hand and then be doing bicep curls four sets i mean four times and reps each set has reps short for repetitions by the way you're going to be doing 12 curls first and leave a bit of rest yeah do it again do it again do it again that's it okay plan this you don't have to it's just a number to get yourself started with okay you can always modify it write down your target first and then as soon as you finish working out just write down in the same sheet of paper how much you perform so that you know when you do that exercise again you know let's say uh, the week after how much you've done and you can chase your own targets and that will be the new target for you that will be the new goal for you to beat the best thing you can do in the gym is chase your targets chase your goals and beat your old goal be the better version of yourself that's it okay do not focus on anyone else you just have to keep progressing let them do whatever the hell they want if you care enough just go and tell them just focus on yourself the individual progress is very important and and the last thing i want to talk about is rest okay sometimes we tend to get ahead of ourselves and uh, exert ourselves more that uh, we kind of our mind gets into a kind of a trance because i did that i've been doing i did this for a long time for months even so i used to train like seven days of the week without giving my body rest that is the worst thing that you can do okay rest is just as important as the workout that you're getting in so yeah the reason why you gotta rest your body is that that's when your muscles heal because you're gonna be tearing up your muscles during your workout yeah it's it's a mess under there trust me yeah, you, you don't want to look at it <laughs> yeah so it's gonna be a mess under there and you, you you gotta give it time baby you gotta give it time to get uh, you know let it get back on its feet to let the muscles heal to let the muscles grow back okay so that's what rest is for and do not do not overlook rest because rest is crucial i cannot stress this enough rest is really really important so uh when you're training four to five days a week let's say uh on the top side i mean on the upper limit if you're training five days a week you get like what two extra days use that use that rest to rest yourself to rest your body to rest your mind okay maybe on those rest days do warm-ups do a little bit of stretches do a little bit of cardio i mean slight power walking or something like that if you do not want to stay on bed or yeah stay at home if you know if it brings you down or something and number four is sleep okay so uh to follow up on rest uh, to add more to that i mean sleep also plays a huge role because get seven to eight hours of sleep because let me tell you what number one is sleep is how you rest your body one of the ways to rest your body and yeah so uh, if you do not get that seven to eight hours of sleep you won't gain a thing okay i only slept for four to five hours a week for one month and i guess what i didn't gain a thing not even strength i didn't gain strength i didn't gain muscle i didn't gain shit okay you don't want that you do not want that trust me that's a psychological letdown you do not want to be there just sleep okay if it helps set an alarm to you know go to bed set an alarm to wake up make sure to get that seven to eight hours of sleep and okay sometimes yeah i mean we all have lives i understand but try okay please 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 try yeah that's all i wanted to talk about for today guys i'm so sorry uh, i do not have more time i gotta get it to work so yeah but I, I really wanted to talk to you know get the message out and everything i definitely post more i'll try my best i'll keep trying because that's the least we can do okay so please remember what we talked about if you learn something please do leave a comment if you yeah i feel like uh, i know i can improve upon the topics that i'm talking about please do say that you know i'm open to all sorts of criticism as long as it helps me grow okay please 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 write to me talk to me okay we got all the socials okay at instagram handle cyrax fit s-y-r-a-x-f-i-t just talk to me baby okay i'm here to help you out i got gotcha. you I'm just starting to, I want to learn too. If you know something, let me know. I'm going to launch my website soon where, with a, a forum too. So please join that. Have a, we'll have a healthy discussion about what we know and how we feel. We'll see each other soon. Okay? I mean, we'll hear each other soon. Yes? Okay. Yeah, I, I got to work on that. Yeah, see ya. Bye.